Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. I am Guthrie Chamberlain and we are on day 2208 of our trek. The purpose of Wisdom Trek is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. In today's Wisdom Nugget, I am excited to continue our exploration of profound wisdom found in the book of Proverbs. Today we are delving into Proverbs chapter 10 verses 1 through 8 from the New Living Translation. So fasten your hiking boots and together we will uncover the path of the wise in these verses. In Proverbs chapter 10 verses 1 through 8, we begin a new section of Proverbs that contrasts the wise with the foolish. These verses provide valuable insights into the characteristic and the outcomes of living a life of wisdom. So let's start out with verse 1. The Proverbs of Solomon. A wise child brings joy to a father, a foolish child brings grief to a mother. These verses open with clear distinction between the wise and the foolish. A wise child brings joy to a father, while a foolish child brings grief to a mother. This serves as a universal truth that underscores the profound impact our choices have on our loved ones. Verse 2. Tainted wealth has no lasting value, but right living can save your life. This verse reminds us of the fleeting nature of ill-gotten gains. Tainted or dishonest wealth may bring temporary prosperity, but lacks lasting value. In contrast, right living, characterized by moral integrity and wise choices, has the power to save and enrich our lives. This takes us on to verse 3. The Lord will not let the godly go hungry, but He refuses to satisfy the craving of the wicked. Here we see a divine principle of provision. The Lord ensures that the godly do not go hungry. However, He withholds His blessing from the wicked refusing to satisfy their insatiable cravings. This verse highlights the importance of living in alignment with godly principles. Now on to verse 4. Laziness leads to poverty. Hard work makes you rich. This verse underscores the relationship between diligence and prosperity. Laziness and the lack of effort lead to poverty, while hard work and diligence results in wealth. It's a reminder that success often follows sustained efforts and dedication. Now to verse 5. God blesses the godly with a secure heritage, but he curses the wicked with destruction. Here we observe the contrasting destinies of the godly and the wicked. The godly are blessed with a secure heritage, while the wicked face the consequences of destruction. This verse emphasizes the importance of living a life characterized by righteousness. And now on to verses 6 through 8. The godly are showered with blessings. The words of the wicked conceal violent intentions. The godly will never be disturbed, but the wicked will be removed from the land. The wise are glad to be instructed, but babbling fools fall flat on their faces. Now these verses continue the emphasis on the contrast between the godly and the wicked. The godly are blessed, while the wicked hide violent intentions in their words. The godly enjoy security and stability, while the wicked face removal from the land. Lastly, the wise embrace instruction and thrive, while fools, known for their empty chatter, stumble and fall. As we reflect on Proverbs chapter 10 verses 1 through 8, we are reminded that wisdom is not just about knowledge, but also about our choices and their impact on our lives and those around us. Take a moment to consider these questions. How can you cultivate wisdom in your life to bring joy to your loved ones? In what ways can you choose right living over tainted wealth? Remember, wisdom equips us to make choices that lead to a life of purpose and fulfillment. So let's summarize the key takeaways of Proverbs chapter 10 verses 1 through 8. First, the impact on our loved ones. Our choices profoundly impact our loved ones, either bringing them joy or grief. Second, tainted wealth versus right living. Ill-gotten wealth lacks lasting value, while right living can enrich and save our lives. Third, divine principles of provision. God blesses the godly with security and provisions, but withholds his blessing from the wicked. Fourth, diligence and prosperity. Hard work and diligence often lead to prosperity, while laziness can result in poverty. And fifth, contrasting destinies. The godly enjoy blessings and security, while the wicked face destruction and removal. In closing, remember that wisdom equips us to make the choices that to lead to a life of fulfillment. As we continue on our journey through the vast landscapes of wisdom, may we walk in discernment and choose the path of the wise. Thank you for joining me on this leg of Wisdom Trek. I hope that these verses have inspired you to embrace the path of the wise and make choices that lead to a life of purpose and fulfillment. 
As we continue on our journey, may we navigate life's challenges with wisdom and grace. And if you found this podcast insightful, subscribe and leave us a review. Then encourage your friends and family to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek Podcast and Journal. And as we take this trek of life, together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.